the loft command creates a body by making transitions between profiles or sketches or faces. So, for example, this blower example is uh, maybe an example of an attachment you may add to a vacuum or a leaf blower, for example. And how this body was designed, as you can see, it's fairly complex, kind of free-flowing, more natural shape than, say, would be available from just simple extrudes or revolves. This specific body was actually fairly simple to create by using the loft tools. And essentially, all we had is these three simple sketches and we just used the loft tool to loft this sketch to this sketch to this sketch to help create our closed loft body. Let's take a look at using the loft command. So I'm just going to start off with a very simple sketch, just of a, a rectangle here as an example, 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter. And I've drawn this on my top plane or top face. Now, what I'd like to do to create my loft is I'll actually have to use additional planes. So any loft, I'm going to have to have multiple closed sketches, faces, or profiles on different planes, and then it will create some 3D body between these sketches or profiles. So lofts, for example, is a great way to make use of your construction planes if you have the Pro subscription. However, if not, in this case, I'm going to run through just using our translate tools to move sketches around as needed. So I'm going to jump into my transform tools here. I'll go move, rotate, scale. And I'm going to start maybe just by moving the sketch up. Uh, I might want to turn copy on for this and make a few copies and uh, make some adjustments from there. I'm going to copy this first square sketch and maybe I want to move it up. Let's say maybe 20 centimeters. And then from here, if I remember my sketches, I also wanted my next sketch to be maybe over to the right, so I'll pull it over to the right here. Maybe 20 centimeters. And then actually I didn't want it flat, I wanted it rotated. And in this case kind of 90 degrees, so I can use again my triad here to rotate to whatever angle. In this case I'm going to throw in about 90 degrees, something like this, and you can see all of my kind of sketches coming in, and I can place them wherever I'd like, depending on the object I'd like to create. I, maybe I want one more here, something about this, Let's say maybe 15 centimeters away in this case. If I'm happy with these sketch profiles and their locations now, I can just tap the done check. So again, probably a more efficient way would be to use construction planes. But if we don't have the pro subscription, we won't have construction planes available. So we can also try our best to use the transform tools here. Now again, I only needed three sketches. I needed this sketch, this sketch, and this sketch. So maybe I can just tap to select these two and delete if I don't need them currently. Let's have the basic outline here, and if I'm happy with the kind of locations of the sketches, I could use my loft command right away, but again, my blower, my sketches actually changed slightly, so my base was 10 by 10 rectangle here. But then once I got over to the other end of the blower, maybe I would like to change this edge to say 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters, something like this. And similarly, for the very end of my blower, maybe I want to say 30 centimeters and 30 centimeters. 
So now you get an idea if I was to try to throw in a body from this face to this face to this face, or sketch, it should give me my nice blower design. So, to jump into my loft tool, I'll just go into tools here, and loft. Once in my loft tool, it will ask me to select any faces or closed sketches to perform my loft. So in this case, I'd like all three of these sketches. And notice as soon as I touch two sketches, it creates that loft. So a loft will always require at least two or more sketches or faces. In this case, fairly simple loft. I'm just using three closed sketches here. But you could use as many as you'd like to create very, very complex lofts. And finally, just throw in my, my last closed sketch there. And now we can see my basic shape of my blower attachment coming in. Once happy with this, just tap the done check. And now I can see my nice blower design. The basic shape has been designed for my blower model. And it was actually created quite easily just by three simple sketches, but it gives you that nice, natural, more complex shape by using the loft command. In the next few lessons, we will learn how to shell or hollow out this object as well as a, a few other example objects, and how the shell command can be very useful for us for creating any hollowed out or thin-walled designs.